happy Mother's Day for all the mothers that are mothers and you're doing your job, you're doing an excellent thing. I just want you to know that I was raised by an awesome mother, a great mom, a magnificent mom, a perfect mom. My mom was perfect even when she was whooping us at church, she was perfect. I wanna say happy Mother's Day. I just wanna give a big shout out to all the mothers that's been influenced and influenced in my life. I am the man that I am today because of all the mothers that raised me, especially in church. When I first start going to church, there's a plethora of women in the church that uh, always made sure I was uh, on my P's and Q's. And I love that, they was mothers. And they mothered me, they mothered me in the Lord, they mothered me outside the church. Every time I, I was out there, I would think to myself, I don't wanna disappoint so and so and so and so. Every mother, it's, there's so many, I couldn't text you all, I couldn't message you all. I just wanna say, if you know me, if you're, if you're looking at this video, and I've called you mom at some point in time, and because you have been an influence in my life, and I want you to know that you are loved by many, not just by your children, but the other others that you have influenced, others that you have um, given hope, and, and, and all that good stuff. So I wanna say happy Mother's Day. It's an honor today. Uh, my mother has graduated to heaven a few years ago, and it's been awesome to the fact that other women have come in and, and been a part of what my mother started in me. Outside of my house, like I say, my mom was perfect. My mom, my mom had humor. She was she was funny. She was a comedian inside the house. Outside the house, she was a disciplinary. I loved it. I love my mom. And you know what? And uh, just to all my brothers and my sister, listen, man, we had the greatest mom on the planet. There is no mother that came even close. Let me tell you something. My mother stayed in bed for six months with me. And I'm not even talking about the rest of my brothers, and I got a whole lot of them. Mom had a good time, and we she had a lot of boys, okay? One awesome girl, which she is now the queen of the family. But I just gotta say, my, my mother uh, refused to get an abortion when they said, abort this baby, you, you know, you might not make it. That happened to her a few times. But man, we're all strong and healthy and tall and big. Well, not me, I, I, I'm, ah. Uh, I guess I'm snack size, I don't know. I mean, I'm not short, but I'm not, I don't have the muscles like my older brothers do have, you know what I mean? Amir Hassan, Zo, the Rosa, I don't have muscles like that. And so uh, my older brothers, they got a lot of muscles and uh, I don't have them, okay? I, I have an athletic build, let's go, athletic build. But I want everybody to know, seriously, if you have a mother and you haven't spoken to your mother in a long time, pick the phone up if you haven't did it already. Call her. Just say, Mom, listen, let, we're not going to argue today. I just want to tell you I love you. Thank you for bringing me into this world. Think about this. There's only one you. There's nobody that can replace you. I don't care how you came in this world. You're the you unique by yourself. So I just want to say that. Don't, don't get caught up with all the madness, okay? Don't get caught up with all the madness. Honor your mother. None of us, none of us are perfect. Nobody's perfect. There's nobody that's perfect. And I just want to say, uh, moms, I love you out there. Thank you for still being a part of my life, still shaping me and forming me to be even a better man than what I am today. I, I just got to say, uh, there's so many names. I, I, if I say a few names, I'm going to miss some. And so I don't want to do that. But I, I just want to give a shout out to all the moms. You know who you are. If you've helped to develop me, after, I mean, besides what my mother's already done, well, she did a great job, because I'm an amazing guy, I just gotta say that. But, simply because I didn't want to disappoint mothers that I was around, there's things and choices that I did not make, simply the fact because I said to myself, I don't want to disappoint so-and-so. I would not want her to hear the news if I did this. That's where I'm at today. I want to just thank you guys for, for being who you are, mother your children. And mothers, uh, new, new, new mothers, it's okay. It's okay, you're gonna make some mistakes, okay? You're gonna make some mistakes. But it's all right, it's part of being a mother. And listen, trust your instinct, trust what God has given to you, raise your children, love them, unconditional love. I heard today, uh, a pastor said, make sure you never, never play favorites. No favorites, no favorites, okay? So, hey, happy Mother's Day. I, I, but I do gotta say this. My, my mother-in-law, I, I, I hate to even say mother-in-law. She's an awesome woman. Vicki Abel, love you. Happy Mother's Day.
Okay, gotta tell you that some of my aunties that, are, that have raised me and, and, and taught me some things, I love you. Okay, uh, uh, my church mothers, I love you. Okay, mothers in the community that just uh, you know didn't want me to get in trouble, I love you. Okay, really, I love you. Thank you for being a mom to me. Thank you for being a mom to the community, and thank you for lending the time that you had away from your children to come and help mother me and give me wisdom, give me insight, and give me love. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Amen.